Hi, it's me, Tree. Sorry, today's been a lot. Uh, Gnome had to run out to school because payroll messed up their paycheck, so we had to come out to, well, they had to come out to get a check of the, the difference because it was like $120 difference. And that it doesn't sound like a lot of money, but it's a lot of money. Gnome gets paid weekly <laughs> so it is a chunk of the paycheck <laughs> sorry I'm watching kids run into the library because you know this is what we do oh uh, they're so cute but yes so in a fit of the I need to get the hell out of my house is I decided to come with and I drove out here which it isn't like a terribly long distance. It's like 20 minutes. It's like seven, eight miles, 10 miles away from where we live. So it's not real far, but I haven't driven since I got sick except once when I was still using Bartleby and my, my walker. And I literally drove like two miles and barely could do that. But I did this, I did it well. I am now sitting in the passenger seat because it made my knees hurt really badly. I'm already having a bad pain day, so it's just aggravating it. So yeah, and it's like we had Gnome has some other errands to run, so I figured I'd come along and be part of the world a little bit. <laughs> Cause you know you gotta do that sometimes, especially me because I even before I got sick I didn't get out of the house much. As you can tell from this pallor, it is all a natural pallor. <laughs> I am very white. So yes, I'm, I'm very excited. I did the thing. Now if I could just do it more and longer, but this was the first, first try in earnest. tribal college that Gnome is a professor at. And it's it's very small, which is cool. Um, it's, we live in the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin, so yeah. The nice thing about a college this small is that Gnome really knows their students. It's like Gnome habitually has students like in three, four, five classes over their, their educational career. So they, they know their students. Which is both a blessing and a curse. <laughs> sometimes you have students who are just miraculous and blessings and sometimes you have ones that you want to eat into the void. But that's fine. It's like even the ones you want to eat you learn things from. And, and teaching is such a strange thing because so much of what we do as teachers, I, for those of you that don't know, I used to teach college English and I used to teach art and 
and stopped because I don't have the the um, emotional bandwidth, I think is the best way to phrase it, to be in a classroom. I get too caught up in the emotions of my students. And which is particularly difficult at a tribal college because you're dealing with generational trauma on top of a myriad of other things. And it was just, it was too much. I couldn't do it. I, I'm, every day I am impressed and proud and amazed that no one can. Even on the days when they can't. But, um, the strange thing about teaching is that a lot, especially when you teach something in the humanities, because it's so much about critical thinking and problem solving and just thinking deeply and considering deeply and being empathetic and sympathetic that sometimes you never see what you teach your students them learn because so much of it has to be internalized and digested and sometimes it doesn't show up till four, five, ten, twenty years down the road and suddenly it, it clicks for them and suddenly this thing that you taught them that they didn't understand that they probably resented you for, let's face it, suddenly makes sense and is important to them and becomes something that's in retrospect foundational to who they are as a person. I mean, if we do it right, if we do it well. But yeah, this is why I'm always disappointed that I can't teach anymore because it took me so long to, to come to those places of realization that what you're teaching you may never see come to fruition 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 I can say the word today and to be okay with it and by the time I did I was realizing that I didn't have the emotional bandwidth to be in a classroom and yeah so it's rough I always feel very disappointed in myself that I'm not in a classroom so I try and teach in other ways. I, I, I try and teach through my art practice and through my social, social media and through my YouTube. So there you go. Are you the most helpful goose? No. I'm in a class! <laughs> Does she like any of my goals? No. Mm, probably not, but I like it. But hey, you know what? God forbid. You gonna help Ariel? If you watch TV so closely, you're gonna hurt your eyes. <laughs> mm, stop number two of the, the, the errands. Go. Oh, look at that. Whenever I post videos or photos of the lovely, wonderful blueberry pancakes, they come from that place right over there. It's called Angie's on Main. It's so good. Ah, uh, blueberry pancakes. So part of the errands is when I was sick and I was in the physical rehabilitation thing, um, we're, we're basically still paying it off. I mean, American healthcare system, even with 
gnomes really kind of amazing to me in this. So, and the place is just phenomenally incompetent with their billing and everything. So, it's literally gnome schleps out here at the beginning of the month to pay it in person because they can't be trusted to do it correctly or it, you know, all. It was, it was a thing with a capital thing. But yes, this was where I was interred what I refer to as the facility. Not on this side of the building, though. This side of the building is actually kind of pretty. Because there are trees and stuff. I was on the other side of the building. Where there's nothing but a stark blank field. And loading and unloading areas. Uh, for, like, trucks. So, yeah. Real fun. So needless to say, this is slightly traumatizing for both Gnome and I. But I also feel like it's unfair for Gnome to come out and do this on their own when I am now more or less capable of going with them because it's not fair that they're being re-traumatized for something and I'm not. And I'm sorry that the camera is shaky today. Uh, the entire right side of my body hurts today. And I'm holding this with my right hand. So it's just... Not necessarily going as well as it could. The entire thing. It's, it's just one of those days. It really is. I'm so happy I don't have to be here anymore. Squirrel! Squirrel! Like as big as Ariel. Because I am a good squid and went out into the world and did hard things for me. I'm getting a chai. I'm very excited. It's like, yes, I make them at home, but there's still something very nice about getting them someplace else. Look at that handsome boy. Are you beautiful? Are you lovely? Are you the best bug? It's a season two of New Pantheon. It's been a while and I am glad to be back. It's been a while. It's been a while. Who's your journey? Before I get into the nitty gritty net of everything, let's meet our players. Some familiar faces and a new face. Ooh, yeah, new. yeah, I got, I got work done. About <laughs> time. Honestly, about it's time. It's good. My he's plastic surgeon is so, honest. So basically, he's no longer mostly shit. He's just mostly Eric now. Finally. About damn time. Eventually. I'm slightly disheveled this morning and thing. Uh, but we are back in my art corner this morning. Look at this art corner. So I was, I thought I might have more exciting things to say, but I didn't. I have a con coming up this weekend, which I'm nervous about because this walking thing is still precarious. I mean, we still have the chair. We still have my chariot, but um, yeah, you know, but in case you are in the Wisconsin environs or its adjacents, uh, 
Uh, I'm going to be in at Evercon this weekend, which is the 10th through the 12th of January, and it's in Wausau. It, well, it's I think it's technically in Rochelle, but Wausau. It's like saying Ho, like saying Green Bay instead of Hobart. Welcome to Wisconsin. But yeah, I'm still going to be running the sale, uh, like I was running at Brown County. Library, Comic Con, and WizCon, because I'm trying to get rid of a bunch of old stock. So, you know, deep discounts. Come get them. Also, if you'd like a commission to be able to pick it up at EverCon, let me know. I think that's all I have to say. Alright. Do good, be kind, be brave. Take care of yourself because the world is literally and metaphorically on fire and we 